Hang on, mate. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to have myself getting it wrong. Only 21 drivers entered round 10 of the Isle of Wight Car Club's unsealed surface event at Atherfield. Disappointing in one respect, but it means more championship points for those that turned up. Despite heavy rain overnight, the large open grass field was bone dry and stayed dry for a great day of grassroots motorsport. As usual, the first few runs on this lush green grass was very slippery and many drivers used this as an excuse to practice their drifting. By run two, Chris Wilson, his single-seater special, was knocking on the door of the sub-minute run time of one minute and five one-hundredths of a second. Not far behind was Steve Brett in his classic mini. Atherfield is unique as long as the weather holds out. Run times drop very quickly as the day progresses. This is in part due to the drivers learning the course and driving faster. But this field, unlike Hazlitt Farm, is never ploughed. So as the grass wears away with each car, the course becomes more and more tractable. And unlike a ploughed field, the soil is hard and not prone to rutting. The downside of this is if the driver deviates from the worn course, they end up on the lush green grass again and traction and steering is lost. The class one battle was between Sue Mitchell, Steve Glass and Ricky Shepherd. And as usual, Ricky astounded everyone with his ability to pilot this beige Rover 45 round the course faster than many purpose built modified cars. Joe Charolumbus was competing in Class 2 against the Richardson family and the Long family, each in their respectively shared MX-5s. Dean Long put his drifting skills to good use and claimed the top spot, followed by his father, Tony Long. Kevin Richardson was not far behind and was joined by his father, Barry Richardson, a new member, younger brother, David Richardson. Man down, man down. <laughs> Did you see it on film? Sorry? Did you get on no, film? I didn't. No, I was yeah. pointing at this Run's handsome up. man. <laughs> I think with him driving the way your drives are, it might be worth filming him. What have you done to a car, man?
<laughs> Mate! That's your proper first off, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's alright. That's what it is. It's race car, mate. Race car. Literally. You see him? No. Stuffed it in the bank at the bottom. Well done. Yeah. Well done well. that many a time. <laughs> Slippery there, isn't it? Yeah. Just as Class 2 is monopolised by the MX-5s, Class 3 seems to be the domain of the classic Mini. Dan Young almost didn't make this event because he couldn't get his Mini to start first thing in the morning. But again, the camaraderie of the club members came to the fore as drivers scrambled to get Dan on track. After John Dutch diagnosed the issue of spark plugs, Dan was able to compete against Marion Brett and Steve Brett in the last three runs of the day. As with any new build, there's going to be teething issues. However, already Dan's Mini is looking very competitive. Class 4 is a genuine mix of rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. Brother and sister team Tom and Kelly Reed were campaigning their modified MX-5. Mark Hill had the first off-road event in his 205. That was your first... That was my first run. Start. First outing. With your, oh, I know, we, uh, yeah. that's your first unsealed surface event yeah. in all your car. Nice new Domleys. Yeah, they're all right. How'd it go? It seems grip all right, it's just broke well, tires on the back. But... Broke tires on the back? That's all right, perfect pattern, brake turns. Yeah, it's good. So did you wrong test them? Yeah, oh. we've, got, we've got the course all together. Even Never mind, it's round, it. round one, doesn't matter. Dan Morgan, as always, was using his Impreza to good effect, and Steve Wells was sharing his Impreza with new member Will Overton. Will is no novice when it comes to driving off-road, but this event must seem a little bit tame to what he's normally used to. Will has recently come back from the USA where he competed in the King of the Hammers event and finished in an amazing 7th place overall. Class 5 is for cars that don't fit into any other classes. John Dutch was back with a vengeance in his ex Grass Track Classic Mini and trading places with Andy Williams and the dominant Chris Wilson in their shared single-seater special. The battle between the ladies culminated in all three finishing next to each other in the results table. However, Kelly Reed was presented with the flowers for being the fastest lady of the day. At the event's close, only four tenths of a second separated the top four. However, due to striking a cone on his last run, Chris Wilson was demoted to fourth place, allowing Dan Morgan to stand on the third step of the podium. John Dutch just missed out on the top step by seven one hundredths of a second, he was so pleased with the result that he refused to run away from the champagne sprayed by the event winner, Andy Williams. Oh! But just look at the top four, all within a second. It could have been anyone's day. However, Andy Williams didn't even have to do his sixth run. His fifth was fast enough. Despite Chris Wilson not getting onto the podium, it was smiles all round. As with fourth place, Chris now had more than enough points in the bag to be crowned the unsealed surface champion of 2016. Fifth place went to Steve Brett in his classic mini and sixth went to Steve Wells in his four-wheel drive Subaru Impreza. Okay, let's see who came top of their class. Of course, class one went to the ever-amazing Ricky Shepard. Class two went to Dean Long in his standard MX-5. Class three went to Steve Brett in his modified Mini. Class four went to Dan Morgan in his modified Subaru Impreza. And of course, our event winner, 
Andy Williams won Class 5. The next and final unsealed surface event will be held at K-Night and Sandpit on the 9th of October. 